競技スポーツの中ではやってはいけないと言われているような技がたくさんありますしかしそのやってはいけないという技こそ実は武術あるいは柔術と言っていいですけどもその命なんですねですから柔道を本当に知るという意味では競技スポーツとしての柔道だけを柔道と思わないで Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be talking about old jujitsu techniques, the stuff that can easily hurt someone,、uh, cripple them for life, and even possibly、uh, cause death. The stuff that did not even make it in the first judo curriculum from the old jujitsu technique. I'm not talking about、uh, knee shattering kani basami or ashigarami or the stuff that can hurt in competition or can be somewhat done safely, but rather the stuff that can really, there's no way out of it. You see, judo was done in a way that you can do it all day. That was the goal and also for educational purposes, not so much in the old mentality of fighting gangs. Uh, and also wars. Yes, self defense is still in mind, but it can be done in a way that, you know, everyone can leave safe or at the least not hurt them in a very, you know, monstrous or brutal way. So we're gonna first look at,、uh, John Gage's teachings and also some old,、uh, scrolls to understand a little bit. So the first one that we're gonna be looking at is,、uh, John Gage from, this is from the U.S. Embassy、uh, Dojo in Tokyo. Here he's explaining the difference between the serenage that we do now, where you wrap the hand、uh, of uke around you and then they can roll、uh, with it, also tucking their chin, which prevents their head,、uh, the back of their head, from slamming on the ground. And of course, proper ukemi training or falling training is very important. But here, this is another one where you actually rotate the wrist, which can, which can also. Uh, injured the elbow and even the shoulder, you slam it on your,、uh, like your trapezius muscle, the trapez,、uh, or traps, and then you proceed to throw like a serenage. And from that position, falling becomes very、uh, difficult and even more complicated than your traditional serenage. So that one, you can injure yourself before you even fall. So you can get injured and also proceed to fall face first. Uh, that can also lead to other injuries as well. So, here, let's take a look at Serenage. So, even with the roll, with everything, of course, the invention of the mats,、um, that also made things far easier. So, here, you see, when they put your hand on their chest, it's given you a path or a trajectory to roll with it, and thus a safe landing、uh, is given. So, Serenage or the old Jiu Jitsu Serenage is easily the first one that we need to discuss. So, you can also fall、uh, in a very bad way as well. Let's take a look at the scroll here from the Shinden Fuden Ryu, I believe.、Um, so, the second one from the left,、um, you can see the cross handed、uh, Serenage. It's the same, but the hands are crossed, so you can easily enter from this like a Sodetsuri Komigoshi. Uh, injure both elbows or shoulders and thus proceed to、uh, project or throw, and、um, the landing will not be as graceful as your, you know, sports context, Ippon Serenage. Not to say that Ippon Serenage cannot hurt or injure, obviously, it can.、Uh, outside of the mats, you can easily give someone a really good nap or even send them to the hospital, but this one here is, you know,、um, Insult to injury, as they say, you can cause way more unnecessary damage. That's the whole point, is to cause the least amount of damage. So,、um, here,、um, let's see it again one last time with the with John Gage. So, here, you can also you know, pop the elbow or the, even the shoulder if you are very strong or tall.、Um, and then you can proceed to project them. So, you rotate, or here, Is, this one is far more safer. The next one is Kata Guruma or the shoulder wheel.、Uh, this is from an、uh, Aiki Jiu Jitsu、um, demonstration. It's found in many schools, not just this one. And here you can see it's a different type of projection、uh, than your、uh, competition Kata Guruma, even with the leg wrap. So here you see you have also the rotation of the wrist with the elbow and shoulder. And they're not being rolled over their arm, but rather they're just. Let go or thrown,、uh, where they can land not in a rolling way, but they just 
like bam slam on the ground and again no mats you can even imagine it the fall uh, on your back straight um, that can blow out your lungs and also uh, bouncing your back of your head bouncing on the pavement again you're asking for way too much injuries and uh, you can hold the sleeve or the hand but it's gonna minimize the injury far less than your uh, rolling kataguruma like this one so here you see the sleeve if it's being held and also you are giving uh, a trajectory for uke to roll a little bit similar to serenage but the access is on the shoulder this time and again you can practice say falling from this rather than the one that we saw from daitoryu where your torso is actually looking up at the sky so again it's if it looks very nasty uh, if done and you can see that woman pl placement um, uh, over strength she's brilliant now finally i want to uh, address striking now today with western uh, martial arts and the media ufc etc when we think of striking we think of uh, very much in the context of boxing or svat or even karate if it's eastern but uh, within the grappling uh, context it's a bit different it's when you caught your opponent in a very compromising position thus the strike happen as you see here it's not you know striking grappling and then go to the ground like a ufc sequence in a sense uh, but rather you put them through your grappling in a very compromised manner and then you proceed to strike and that strike should be able to end it end it all or it's a strike uh, on a very sensitive point from the very beginning and that's it thus it was banned from randori as kano wanted it so here you see a groin strike after the grappling being put in ushiro keizagatami or after serenage there's really no need uh, for the strike after the grappling was successful in a safe environment so here uh, you can see the uh, the lapel is sliding on across the neck if anyone has been choked out you would know that your neck gets somewhat pinned when they are performing an okuri erijime on you so here it's the samurai is somewhat using it as a way to really pin the neck down and thus proceed to strike and finish it all decapitating his uh, foe or adversary so again it's uh, the striking within the grappling uh, context of you know old jujitsu and early you know days of jigoro kano you would see that it is different it is done so so you can end or finish someone after they are put in a compromising position from grappling it's not a boxing match so here uh this is a kendo uh example ashibarai after they fall down you chop their head off again it's a different uh, context of uh, striking i really wish there some type of teachings of this is still available now with the whole jujitsu fighting it's become like gi mma basically and not so much sensitive area striking and also uh, you know it's nice to know this because you know john gage he does teach these things in his dojo for example here he's showing you know when you wrist lock someone uh, and they are put in this position it's very hard for them to strike in a way that's effective so thus they are prone to strikes and also they are wrist locked in a sense here same thing um, once you put them in these very tough grappling holds and then proceed to strike it's gonna have a far uh, different effect than you know wearing big gloves and you know having your distance you know you're keeping your distance your eye from your opponent and then doing like a boxing match um, once you're very close to them you have them in a very compromising position and you strike that strike is gonna be very um, let's just say not so good and it's gonna be very hurtful and that's why striking was removed from judo because that's the idea of striking that they had it's not so much that it's watered down or you know olympic judo all the stuff that people talk about it so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons uh, only and also please do not forget to check out josh simon's shop uh, in the description below for articles and of course t-shirts this was Shadi, and as always, thank you for listening.